Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture of Quality and Reliability Engineering. I am Milan Trivedi, Assistant Professor at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. We are discussing about chapter number 3 that is Introduction to Design of Experiment. In that up till now we had discussed about the four different methods to carry out experiment and we understood that the full factorial method is good to carry out any of the experiment. In today's class we will understand the concept of robust design and in this particular topic also we will be having a proper understanding of the Taguchi approach also. In the earlier class I had stopped with the discussion of Taguchi method of design right that is having a system approach, parameter design as well as tolerance design. So that concept will also get cleared in the case of robust design because the robust design is nothing but it is a Taguchi design. Taguchi design sometimes it has been referred as a robust design. As I told in earlier class also it is a statistical tool means that there is some involvement of mathematics in that out because of that we on basis of that we will carry out some experiment we will decide in earlier class we have discussed that if there are at least five input factors and we are changing that five input factors at two different levels so we need to carry out at least two raised to five experiment means 32 experiment but instead of 32 experiment we will reduce our experiment still we will get idea that which condition is good ok so that is nothing but reducing the run of experiment that is possible due to the statistical approach given by the Taguchi ok so we will have an understanding of that it gives the best combination of input to produce a product or service ok but in order to understand that scenario that how we are reducing instead of 32 experiment we will be performing only 16 experiment how that is possible in order to understand we need to first of all understand one concept that is a signal to noise ratio we are also calling it as a s by n ratio now what is signal what is noise let us understand that concept is with very small example but signal is actually a desired quantity that is the sum of the thing which you actually want from your product that is called as a signal and the fluctuation the things which you don't want that is called as undesirable part that that is called as a noise and in any of the product the signal to noise ratio should be higher if it is higher we are calling it as a robust design let me give you one small example so that the concept of signal and noise will get more clear right if you are uh, eating pizza right you want sauce on that but that sauce should be on some optimum condition up to some level if sauce is there then you will find the taste of pizza proper right so that is nothing but it is a signal that is a desirable quantity right but what if it is extending beyond certain limitation means if you are spreading sauce in a very huge amount then only sauce taste will appear in your mouth right you won't find this uh, taste of different stuffings which is present on the pizza right so that sauce will behave as a noise later on right so that is not desirable so the sauce is signal up to some extent but if it is be, uh, present beyond certain limit then it becomes a noise right so that is not desired so we need to find out the signal to noise ratio right obviously the signal quantity is required in higher noise quantity is not required so this signal to noise should be maximum right on those experiments the signal to noise ratio is higher that is considered as a best scenario ok now let me give you one example so that the idea gets more clear now one company is there who is manufacturing this automotive generator right and they want to have 12 volt out of this automotive generator only 12 volt should be produced so they are having a two option in first design they are getting this result on first experiment they got 11 volt in second experiment they got 12.5 volt 10.5 volt 14.3 12.2 so these are the different results they are getting in second design they are getting this voltage 12.2 11.5 10.2 13.8 14.8 now which design is likely to produce more consistent voltage now what is our desired voltage that is 12 volt 
okay so that is our desired value we are calling it as a signal value okay now the voltage generated by the proposed design is called as a signal the fluctuation of the voltage is called as a noise okay means 11 volt if first design is generating then it is called as a signal and the fluctuation what we want that we want is 12 volt but we are getting 11 volt so that difference is nothing but it is called as a noise we want that noise to be minimum we want that fluctuation to be minimum in order to have a good design okay so the design which is having higher signal to noise ratio by considering the target voltage is the best design of the automotive generator okay in other words the best design produces less noise the design which is insensitive to the noise is called as a robust design right there should be minimum noise in any of the design we cannot ignore the fact that there won't be any kind of fluctuation in the voltage right but we can minimize that thing right when we do some calculation so taguchi had given this formula to find out the signal noise ratio that is minus 10 log to the base 10 mean square deviation this mean square deviation further can be evaluated like this 1 by n sigma yi minus yt whole square this yi means that is the input variable or the uh, thing which you are getting and yt is target value we want 12 volt from the generator right so 12 will be fixed in each and every experiment run suppose we are carrying out 5 experiment right see the value of experiment is 1 2 3 4 5 experiment that's why i am keeping n value as 5 so numerical value is 5 here yi means in the first run we are getting 11 volt so 11 will be the first value minus t value y t value will be fixed so it will is it is 12 we will do the whole square of that so from this you will find the in this way you can find the mean square deviation we are having 5 experiment here last value is 12.2 right that's why we are fixing that 12.2 minus 12 whole square so you you will get the mean square deviation put that mean square deviation in signal to noise formula so that will give you the signal to noise ratio as minus 2.47 same do that for the second design 12.2 to up to 14.8 so we'll put that values over here we'll find the mean square value from that we will find the signal to noise ratio which is coming out as minus 4.32 so what does this taguchi says that you should have a minimum signal sorry maximum signal to noise ratio so which value is maximum both are negative value so this negative value is considered as maximum minus 2.47 so design number one is more accurate right now we need to prove this thing okay so carry out experiment on that this thing we had found statistically in earlier class of when we understand the taguchi approach we decided uh, decided perform the orthogonal array have a look uh, by finding the statistical value then confirm the test perform the experiment and find that which really this first design is appropriate or not right so in this way you can perform the experiment right now one more concept that we need to reduce the run of experiment that also we had discussed okay just for that let me give you one scenario let us take one example in which we need to conduct four experiment right one two three four experiment we need to conduct and we are having this quantities which are changing a b and c we are having this three different quantities which are changing let me take again the example of sandwich we had taken right so this three quantities that has been changing that is salt sugar and let's say sauce and we are having two different levels for each experiment means either suppose if this is salt uh, you can have one salt uh, one tablespoon of salt or two tablespoon of salt this sauce either you can have a one sugar uh, or you can have two tablespoon of sugar right so these are the different levels so what is what will be the scenario at least two is to three means we are having a three variables and for three variables we are having two different levels so so two is to three experiment you need to carry it out means minimum 16 sorry uh, 
minimum eight experiment you need to carry out in order to find the best condition of the sandwich right so these are the different levels let's say one 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 uh, level of tablespoon then two level of tablespoon right that we are changing one two one two one two then we are again doing experiment with salt then we are sent, uh, setting level of 1 1 then 2 2 1 1 2 2 so these are the levels we are setting so what is happening just give the uh, 1 as a value minus then you are adding something so we are keeping it as plus so what this full factorial method here shows that or fractional factorial whenever you are doing full factorial means all the experiment we need to carry out but when you want to reduce that is called as a fractional factorial in such scenario take this L. see what happening over here is I am indicating 1 with minus so minus minus will get plus plus minus will again get minus make a group of that here what will be the scenario plus minus minus plus minus 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 become plus so make table of that final so this fractional factorial concept says that make a group of same uh, divisions means make a group of minus factorials and plus factorials so if you do experiment of any of these two tables any of these two table you will get this similar result right either perform this four experiment or this perform this four experiment of plus one or minus one out of this you will get one result which is best and from this eight experiment you will get same scenario right so that is the way to reduce the number of experiment right so by implementing such statistics you can reduce the ways to uh, reduce experiment but this is limited to only when we are changing the levels to one and two right because in that case we can uh, give minus and plus right but for Taguchi we can when we have our many factors and even levels are more in such scenario we can reduce the number of experiments by the Taguchi method again it is a complex mathematics we are not going into depth but that is a way to reduce the experiment but that uh, statistics is very interesting but uh, right now I am not covering considering uh, your syllabus so just let us understand suppose we are having a seven factors and two experiment two levels of each factor then minimum 128 experiment we need to carry out so fractional factorial with the help of that we can at least reduce half experiment to 64 runs but Takuchi had given certain statistics by which we can have a uh, best result by doing only 32 experiment only by 16 even and by 8 run also you can find out near about x uh, result right so that is the concept of Taguchi lastly let us understand the steps in experimental design this is like a summary, summary of the lecture so whenever you want to do any experiment what are the normal steps we define the problem we determine what is the objective this we all know because we are performing experiments since our school days then we brainstorm then we design experiment what is design of experiment that we are already discussed in our earlier session then conduct that experiment analyze proper data interpret the result and verify the predicted result whether you got the result as per your prediction during design of experiment or not so that is nothing but the different steps of the experimental design we are keeping up to this and that is the end of our chapter number three